Welcome to today's video. Today I'll be creating an updated version of my original tutorial, Import a Cart into ZModeler 3.2.0 the correct way. Before we begin, there are a few frequently asked questions regarding the old tutorial that I'd like to answer since they still apply to this tutorial. My import button is greyed out when I try to import a model. You're trying to import a locked model. Don't try to import locked models, they were locked because the author didn't want you to edit them. My ZModeler 3 says your license denies this action. You do not have a valid ZModeler 3 license assigned to your ZModeler 3 copy. Instructions on how to correctly assign a license can be found at www.zmodeler3.com. My ZModeler 3 says unable to locate material adaption for shader hash. You're using a cracked or outdated version of ZModeler 3 which doesn't support a shader used on the model. With that being said, on to the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go to OpenIV. There'll be a link in the description for OpenIV as well as ZModeler 3. Then we're going to do control, left control, plus F3. And this brings up a search box. You can also manually look through the game files for the models you're looking for, but I usually search uh, for like a specific model name. Uh, model names of vehicles can be found on the GTA like fandom website. Um, you just search for whatever car you want. So for example, the Jester, the one that looks like a Supra. So that would be Jester 3 in this case, or Jester 4. I think it's Jester 3 though. So we'll do Jester 3 underscore high. We'll wait for it to search for it. We'll see it's found it in MP Assault and also Patch Day 19. Whenever it's in a Patch Day file, you want to make sure you grab the Patch Day version and not the original version because it might have some unknown bugs. So we'll go to the Patch Day file version. And you can see here we got Jester 3 underscore high dot YFT, Jester 3 dot YTD, and Jester 3 dot YFT. So we want all of these. Then we're going to drag this to our project folder which in this case is on my desktop so I've got example project folder and then we'll put it in the models folder so let's go back to open IV we'll drag and drop this to models like so so we've got the YFT the YTD and the underscore high dot YFT so now we also need some other files so we're going to search for there, so V E H and then share dot YTD. And these are the shared uh, texture dictionaries. So we want the one from M64E.RPF. Then you want Vishare dot YTD, Vishare Army Truck, and Warn. These are the most common ones. You can also grab all of the interior textures as well if you want them. But I only generally uh, grab the, the shared textures because it has all the like chassis, like just the generic stuff that's shared between all vehicles. So we'll drag and drop these to the same folder. Um, I have these in a separate folder, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to put them in the same folder just so they're easy to locate. Now we'll jump back into ZModel 3. This is 3.2.1. Uh, it's the latest version currently available at the time of recording. It has a li It's paid, so it has a license assigned. Um, you can assign a license or buy a license and get ZModel 3 from ZModel3.com. So we'll do file, import, and then we will go to our desktop and we will go to example project folder, models. So we've got Jester 3 here. So you want to left click on the Jester 3 underscore high dot YFT and then hold control and left click on the dot YFT. So you can see here the first one that's picked is the Jester 3 underscore high dot YFT. Second one that's picked is Jester 3 dot YFT. You can see I've got a bunch of uh, tick boxes. The sliced apart. Uh, sliced apart parts is used so you can easily edit the model itself, but it will break any rigging that the vehicle has. So if you want to keep all the rigging for the original model, like for example, you're importing the monster truck or the trophy truck, those cars have rig suspension. If you have sliced apart turned on, then they will it will break the rigging and I'll have to re-rig it when you're done. Um yeah. There's reused materials, which basically just means that it will reuse the same materials for whatever. So for example, say you import this, it's using, for example, vehicle generic detail two material. If you import another car and it also has vehicle generic detail two as a material, then it will reuse the existing one instead of creating a new one. Uh combined collision, I don't know what that does. I've never had to use it and combine with existing models. Now this is like this needs to be on when you're importing the underscore high and also the lod model as well. 
So keep that in mind. And then we're here, we've got preload packs, which is where you want to add your all your YTDs. So in this case, I'm going to add the VHL YTDs from my desktop. So as well as the vehicle one as well. So just a three dot YTD, VSHare dot YTD, VSHare Army, uh, Truck, and VSHare Warn. Now these aren't one hundred percent required for you to be able to edit the model, but they do allow you to be able to do more stuff with the car. For example, um, if you are editing the physical mesh of the vehicle. And you're changing up the UV, you need to make sure that your UV is intact. And the best way to do that is to be previewing the textures actually on the vehicle. So we'll hit import on that. You can see here, it's imported it. You can see here it says just a three. What we will do now is we'll just move the camera. You can use Alt and left click to uh, pan around, uh, like, sorry, to rotate around the vehicle. And you can turn on L0 to see the L0 LOD. And then L1 to see L1, L2 to see L2, L3 to see L3, and obviously L4 as well. So that is how to import a vehicle into Z Model 3, latest version. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.